everybody welcome back to my channel it is our second video today of 2021 if you've missed my best beauty purchases of 2020 or best beauty products of 2020 i will link that for you because that was the first video back of 2021 but today we are going to be talking about my best and worst style purchases of 2021 no of 2020 Oh my god, I'm already gonna get me as confused. Best and worst style purchases of 2020. So if you wanna know what I got the most wear out of over the course of 2020, which was a weird year for fashion, let's just put it out there. If you want to know what my most worn and least worn items are, then keep on watching. I'm not gonna do this in any particular order, partly because I cannot be bothered to organize the clothes next to me. But first item, and spoiler, this video was very nearly just a best and worst Zara purchases of 2020 it still is that in a lot of respects like because there's just a lot i love zara obviously but item number one is this shirt jacket from zara and if you watch my videos enough over the past year you'll know that this is one of my favorite purchases of 2020 this i just love the cream in particular or this oatmeal color is definitely the winner i have it in oatmeal and then black and i would say i definitely got more wear out of this one though i feel like i photographed myself wearing the black one a lot more but this was definitely my absolute favorite i still wear it at the moment i actually love wearing it over this little kind of like high neck knitted jumper on me it worked really well as a dress but it also works really well as a shirt jacket during the autumn i just think it's so versatile and this color in particular also the black but this color in particular will work really well in spring as well this is definitely one of those items that is going to stick around in my wardrobe for the long term and i absolutely love it it's so soft i don't have the label in this anymore but it feels like a lovely like brushed cottony kind of material Material, but it's a lovely shirt jacket and I loved wearing it since I purchased it in around like September time. Next up, I'm going to talk about a pair of shoes and I'm actually going to show you the new pair of these shoes because my other pair are looking very, very ropey. I know it would kind of attest to how much I've worn them, but I just feel like we really don't need to see that on camera. So I have a fresh pair. These are the Nike React trainers. They're my favorite trainers. I've loved this range of trainers for so long now, literally for years. I've had the black pairs before and I picked up these are the Nike Reacts, but I feel like they're like a step up from the regular Reacts. They're a little bit more expensive, but they literally are the bounciest, springiest things. Like my other pair are still going. They're still so comfy. They're still so bouncy. The only reason I'm showing you these is because these are a clean pair. <laughs> I haven't even worn them out already yet, but before I linked to these back in October in my practical outfits haul, I actually purchased a second pair of these because you guys make things disappear. So I had to buy myself a second pair before they disappeared. These trainers are definitely my most worn shoes purchase of 2020 i honestly i just wore them so much i love them they're great for working out but also for walks as well back in october i did a long ass charity walk and i actually came out of it with minimal blisters i would say for what i was expecting and i swear it is those shoes they are literally the most comfortable shoes that i own i love them next we have an item that I'm really questioning why I don't wear this more. Like, why do I not wear this more? This is probably one of the biggest wastes of my money that I made in 2020. I purchased this in February time, I want to say. And I think I've worn it once. And I hate admitting that on camera because I know people are not going to like that. But I need to get more wear out of this. These aren't items that I'm like, I'm never going to wear these again. And I wasted my money on them and I wore them once. Like, this is me reminding myself that I need to wear these items more because they are all gorgeous. But this is also a moment for me to take a look at maybe why I do not wear the items that are the worst purchases that I made in 2020 so much. Like, why am I not wearing these? How can I learn from this in the future? You know, I'm really questioning why I don't wear this more. It is the perfect color. It's this gorgeous like e-crew color. I think one of the reasons for not wearing this is that I just don't gravitate towards throwing it on with like black skinny jeans and a black pair of boots, which is how I would normally wear my leather jackets, like my black leather jackets. I think this needs a little bit of something extra and I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to try this with dresses in the summer like little kind of like white dresses and see how we go it's definitely a very feminine look something that i'm i don't normally gravitate towards but i think i need to get a little bit more creative with my styling of this color of leather jacket and the same goes for my all saints one which i also purchased in 2020 which you know, I, I bought it in peak winter, so I was never going to get that much wear out of it towards the end of the year. But it's like a sagey green kind of minty colour, like a really muted, like grey mint colour. Really gorgeous. And I think with both of my coloured leather jackets, I'm going to have to be a bit more creative with the way that I style them to avoid any more like unworn leather jackets in 2021. And I love my leather jackets as well. Like it's ridiculous that this hasn't got more wear. And I think until my current leather jackets get 
more wear we are just on a leather jacket van i mean we should just be on a leather jacket van anyway because i have enough but until this gets more wear even if i see the most incredible leather jacket in the most incredible tome it's not happening it is not happening the next two items are denim i'm gonna lump them both together because i bought these and loved these so much around the same time i still love them now i still wear them now these are two of the top shop denim launches from january there were four new styles of denim and there were two that i loved so very much these are the top shop four jeans now i know i'm talking about top shop and they might not be hanging around for much longer so if you can get your hands on these and you wanted to I would do so now before it's maybe too late. I'm really hoping that someone buys Topshop. For many reasons, I hope someone completely buys it out. But I think it would be a shame for a brand that's been around for so long to be completely lost. So yeah, anyway, I will be very, very sad if they like officially go. But in the meantime, if you are looking for a lovely pair of denim jeans, this pair of the Topshop 4 jeans, and as you can see, they have the most incredible stretch to them, but they're actually very thick. Like I wish you could really see how thick these are like unless you feel this bit here you will not really quite understand what i'm talking about but they're very very thick which if you have a lot of bloating here like lower stomach like i will never ever ever wear these around my very bloated times of the month because my lower belly is just like you know it's swollen enough as it is and it doesn't need the extra like thickness that these jeans have but outside of that week of the month i love these so much i love the kind of distressed bleaching to them like, I just love this. It's so lovely. It gives your body a really lovely shape. And they're a really lovely skinny jean. I roll mine up a little bit just because my legs are slightly non-existent. But yeah, I love them. They've got a belt loop, which is something that a lot of the Topshop jeans were missing for so long. They've got lovely big pockets on the back. They're like a very traditional denim in a very traditional like denim tone. But they're so comfortable to wear. I just love them. And I wear them a lot with the Topshop tank tops, which I'm not sure if they still do. And I had those in black, grey and white. And they just worked so perfectly with both these pairs of jeans, the other pair of jeans. I love these so much. But if you are looking for a brand that does a sustainable version of these, New In are where it's at. I actually need to order a new pair of my New In denim jeans because I'm not getting so much wear out of them at the moment because they are so big on me. This pair are actually slightly more, in terms of like a mom jean, these are really fitted like when I first showed these and said they were a mom jean in my videos people were like they don't look like mom genie at all because they are like more of a tight fit but I really love that about them they're not a skinny jean but they're not a straight leg but they have that classic like mom feel to them like they are kind of like larger around here smaller at the waist and then baggier over the leg but they just fit in the most beautiful way they're really soft but the denim feels like structured at the same time it's not super stretchy like your Sydney jeans or your Jamie jeans that kind of vibe they're kind of like Topshop's answer to Levi's I feel like and I love them so much i love them so much and i actually lost them several times over the course of 2020 because i obviously moved house and there were lots of items that were slightly difficult to find because they got misplaced this was one of the items and i genuinely thought about them every day whilst i couldn't find them that is the level of love that i had for these jeans so yeah two very highly recommended denim purchases from 2020 the next item is one of the most beautiful items but that i really haven't got the wear out of from 2020 and i did purchase it more towards the end of 2020 but for the price of it i really should have been getting so much more wear out of it than i sadly have over the past few months maybe this will be more of a springtime one because it is a lighter coat this is from all saints it's this gorgeous like light dustery trench coat but with padded sleeves which i just I just love it's this beautiful like muddy khaki or khaki if you're from the us color and i love it but i just really haven't got the wear out of it yet so this so far has been an absolutely terrible purchase maybe that will turn around for the springtime let's hope so because otherwise this was definitely one of the worst ways i've spent my money in a very very long time because this was expensive and very sad as well because i've generally had very very good luck with all saints and had purchases from them that just last and that i love year after year but that one could potentially be an anomaly for me sadly next we are moving on to what i feel was an iconic purchase for me of 2020 like when i look back at 2020 and i think about things that i purchased and things that i loved wearing things that i love wearing that shocked me as well this is one of them this has actually got a jumper underneath but it's a gilet 
from Zara and I picked it up because I thought it would be a very practical purchase and I was right and I got so much more out of this over autumn this is also a great one for winter when it's really cold because I can stick this on underneath a coat as well though I have got another coat purchase here that has been keeping me very toasty so this has not been entirely necessary yet but it is so cold right now that I probably will end up wearing this undercoat very very soon the gilet is from Zara and it is like peak dog walking chic for me i love it and i will get so much more out of this in the spring it's been a great one for me as well when i'm just like needing to nip into the garden whether it's because i need to like my really boring life chores of like composting and mowing the lawn and doing stuff to my like veg beds this is one of those really useful items in terms of that and i love the fact that it has this zip bit around the collar as well and there's actually a little hood in there in case it rains i know what you're thinking this is not my kind of typical purchase that you would see on this channel but this year i really did adapt my lifestyle a lot because of all of the changes that we've been going through all of the lockdowns my life changed a lot and my wardrobe had to change with it but the thing i love about this is that because it's black i still can style it out with things that make me feel still quite me so although this is like peak dog walking attire you are nearly 30 kind of vibes i love wearing a black roll neck underneath i don't know if you can see that there something like this i have this zara black roll neck here and i also love pairing it with black skinny jeans and these boots which are another best purchase of 2020 i've loved these so much i wear these dog walking they do need cleaning after i've cleaned these many times they're fairing up so well and they look so cool with like black skinny jeans or even just leggings and then this over the top or any other like very warm coat but that kind of vibe has allowed me to do like proper like dog walking chic but still feeling like myself i think that little segment there really just sums up 2020 really doesn't it <laughs> this green leather shirt dress unsurprisingly really when you say those words out loud was actually one of the worst purchases i made in 2020 i haven't actually worn it the reason for that i think is because we obviously just haven't had that many opportunities to really dress up and unlike the zara shirt jacket which for me can double as a dress but also as like an overshirt, but also as like an actual jacket and a like loose open shirt as well this is not so versatile i think maybe if i was super tall it would work out because it would kind of double as a shirt jacket that kind of vibe but it's way too long on me to even be considered as a shirt jacket and so i think because of the lack of versatility i just really haven't had the opportunity to wear it so much which is so sad because i was so excited about it when i first bought it but sadly this has just not been the year for this one however i am going to keep it in my wardrobe because i think it is such a gorgeous piece and i will see if we get more wear out of it this autumn but sadly this has been one of the worst purchases that i made of 2020 hopefully by now you'll see what i mean when i say this was basically a best and worst zara purchases of 2020 i'd love to be yes you all and say that i have made a resolution to shop less on zara in 2021 but i actually made an order the other day it's due to arrive actually any minute now moving on i'm going to talk to you about something that is not from zara this is a long line cardigan from the white company i bought a lot of long cardigans like maxi cardigans or do we call them maxi cardigans yeah i bought a lot of them in 2020 it started out with the gray pretty little thing one which we all loved every time i wear it i get so many dms on it and i love that one so much i have one from asos which i adore however it does get like a little bit of fluff on me which is fine that's what lint rollers are for but my favorite cardigan purchase of 2020 has got to be this one which i purchased from white company and literally have not stopped wearing since the start of december throughout december i honestly would get up put on like a black thermal top some black leggings a pair of slippers and then this and that was that was me done this is so warm so soft doesn't like shed anything onto my clothes it is the perfect like biscuity gorgeous nudie tone i absolutely love it it has pockets as well which really really that was the winning factor in this for me it's basically the cardigan version in a more biscuity like neutrally color of my mango coatigan that we all love so much this is like the indoor version of it and i just adore it and i know that it's going to be one of those items that is in my wardrobe for years to come and the fact that i have worn it literally daily what more could you want from a purchase like i just know that this is one of those like true forever pieces in my wardrobe and it's that perfect like in the house vibe which is my entire life it hasn't just been for the past year really i have been working from home for wait december 2014 so oh my god <laughs> that's such a long time i've been literally working from home not really leaving the house very often for six years now so really i should be coping better with this lockdown than i actually am but 
let's not talk about that anyway best most cozy purchase of 2020 i love it a purchase i'm going to talk about very quickly because it's just one of those iconic purchases of 2020 that when i think about the year I think about this skirt, score even. I didn't even realize it was like classed as a score. And lots of you asked me what the back looked like because of the name of it on the Zara website. It literally just looks like a skirt. All it has is this random bit of lining in the middle. That's literally it. That's all that makes it a score apparently. It's so weird, but ignore that on the Zara website. If you see this, I don't know if it's still in stock, but I adore this. This is kind of what made me purchase the green shirt dress and that obviously went so wrong but this is gorgeous especially with this jumper it's like the best combo this jumper and these boots such a winning outfit i honestly loved it so much i can't wait for spring to roll around so i can get so much more wear out of it again with like a black like trench my black wool trench from all saints i think it would look so chic i cannot wait to wear this again i think this would even be a nice one for like evenings in the summer maybe going down the pub a nice pair of like black sandals with it let's hope that i'm allowed out to see that through now in 2020 i loved a lot of coats it was very very hard to actually kind of narrow it down for this video because there are so many that i loved i have so many coats that i purchased years ago as well that i'm still wearing daily now but the purchases from 2020 that i think were my favorites are number one this one from zara it is the most gorgeous kind of like warm gray color and then it has black accents all over it so it has the black fur hood which is fully detachable this coat is water repellent as well which is the reason that i purchased it because i love the fact that it just doesn't absorb any water it just all runs straight off you it also normally has a black belt like a thick kind of elasticated black belt the buckle in the middle just like a clip buckle the belt is currently on my rail because i use it for so many other coats and that is one of the things that i loved about this coat was it actually helps me in styling so many other items as well so my fur my faux fur gilos from misguided i love to belt those in the middle and the elasticated belt on this just works so perfectly because it's very very discreet and makes them so nice and easy to wear but gives them shape and it does the same for this coat as well which i really love this coat is also so warm and it has a lovely faux fur lining it stops here so you don't get too bulky going down down the coat but it's just a lovely feeling like around this area so that is definitely my favorite practical coat purchase i also have another one from zara which is definitely more like dog walk vibes less chic more like standard me and nala also have matching ones of those as well which is goals 2020 was definitely also the year of me building nala's wardrobe to match mine and i have no regrets it's great she loves it too another purchase that i have loved and been wearing so much is the kind of sleeping bag style coat like the quilted collared trench coat from asos i love this so much i actually don't style it up enough in videos but i get so much wear out of this day to day because it's so long it's very thick i like to throw my all saints scarf kind of like over the collars and then belt both the coat and the scarf in the middle and i think it looks so chic it looks good whether i'm wearing like boots or trainers whatever the footwear this just seems to work it's a very very coat it's one of the best things about a trench coat is you can throw it on over like your loungewear or you can throw it on over an actual like smart outfit and either way you look so chic i definitely think this will be one of those items that stays in my wardrobe for a very very long time the style of it is just very classic and it's a nice nod to the padded kind of quilted trend that we're seeing everywhere at the moment but it is very discreet so it's just on this collar here which most of the time is actually covered up by my scarves but it also has the quilting on the underarm, but not on the top of the jacket. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the texture of this jacket, but it does have a lovely texture to it as well. It's just a really smart coat. The quality of it is really, really good. Sometimes on the high street, coats just like really don't hit the mark, but this one it really did for me and I was very, very impressed with it. And I think I will keep it for years and years and years. This wasn't actually technically a 2020 purchase. This was actually an end of 2019 purchase. However, this has been my most used bag of 2020. This along with the Fendi camera bag, but the Fendi camera bag has been in my wardrobe for such a long time. We already know it's a staple. However, this was used daily throughout 2020. It's definitely helped by the fact that I do stay at Ryan's a lot, but when I purchased this, never did I think this would be my sleepover bag, but it is the best bag size for when I'm going anywhere where I need to take my laptop with me, which let's face it, over the past year has mostly been Ryan's house, but I'm not mad about that because for a brief time, I was quite scared that the only use this would get would be being taken to like, 
my local supermarket and being used as a bag for life which it is a bag for life but I don't want to use it in that way that's not the way I envisioned this bag being worn and loved so yeah very happy that this actually has been so highly used by me this year I actually think if my Christmas present to myself last year had been more of a smart bag I would have been so heartbroken because it would not have got the wear whereas the size of this actually made it so much more versatile and one thing I also did as well was purchase a bag divider for this honestly the best money that I've ever spent because it helps me to keep everything so organized if there's like products that I need to throw in here like a little makeup bag it has a little section has a section for my phone my notebooks literally my everything it is so great so it's made this bag a lot more user friendly as well because obviously when you buy the bag it's just like there's no pockets on the inside there's no nothing so that definitely helped to make this bag so much more wearable and usable and practical for my day-to-day -day life while still being an absolute work of art and very durable really considering how much i use it i thought this would get battered so quickly but i'm so happy with how it's worn and how much wear i've gotten out of it and for the fact that it's a navy blue color i was like this could be a slightly ropey color choice for me in terms of the fact that i don't really wear color very happy with this one all round so although it was technically a 2019 purchase it was so close to the wire and i literally didn't start wearing it until the end of 2019 so it's going in this video and then finally two rings that i purchased this year i'm just throwing them on my fingers just bear with two rings that i purchased this year and have absolutely loved wearing if my camera will focus on them there we go these two rings are from pandora i have absolutely loved wearing these they're sterling silver so they've lasted so well great through all of the hand washing they were really affordable as well the stones aren't like anything snazzy but they just really look so beautiful i really love how bougie they look but without actually breaking the bank and i've worn them so much this year and wearing a bougie ring like this definitely helped me make peace with the fact that my nails are now just my natural nails and we're not doing anything crazy with my nails anymore i'm i'm over it to be honest i'm over anything that i can't regularly maintain myself because the whole lockdown situation like i haven't been able to see a hairdresser in four months guys so when it comes to my hair my nails my everything i want to be able to do it at home i want it to be low maintenance or or just maintenance that I can commit to and I can control. So the rings have definitely made my hands feel a little bit snazzier without like actually having to have snazzy nails at all. And that is it for my best and worst purchases of 2020 or my most worn and least worn, whatever you wanna call it. I hope it was maybe useful to you to see what I feel I got the wear of or what I feel was worth the purchase versus things that I don't feel were a wise purchase. Fortunately, we didn't have too many luxury mishaps of 2020 purely because I think I bought about three luxury items in 2020 it was definitely a bit of a more reserved year now i'm saying that and now i'm really questioning if it was just three and i'm slightly worried feel free to pull me up on it in the comments i would also love to know if there's anything that you predicted would be in this video or anything that i missed that you think should be in this video i would love to know what you feel like was like my best and worst of 2020 but that is going to be it for me today i hope you've all enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys again very soon. love you bye